All right, everyone, this is the news burst for the last work day of the week. It is Friday. You're not even in frame. Okay, sorry, I mean, you don't have to life. participate. You can just, no, you know, I was reading. You just smile. The people no, want to see you. I was reading intently. So. Wake up temperatures, 57 degrees out in Waukesha today, 61 in Milwaukee. Here's the first line from Storm Team forecaster Scott Steele in his note he sends out every morning. Like the guests that wouldn't leave the party, low pressure, which has mired our region in cloudy, cool, wet weather, will finally depart our region, albeit very slowly. Here's the rest of the Storm Team forecast from Scotty for today. Gradually decreasing clouds, still cool and breezy. High near 71, but he's got sunshine for the weekend. We earned it after this ugly weather. Finally, wow. Ugh. In the news today, Milwaukee County is expected to announce today that it will reopen the O'Donnell Park parking garage in time for Summerfest. They've targeted Tuesday of next week. That is ahead of schedule, but the announcement coming today on the one-year anniversary of the collapse of one of those decorative panels that killed a 15-year-old boy during Summerfest last year. On Summerfest, that starts next week, Wednesday. Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark will be out with his annual news conference today where he tells people, go ahead and park in the parking rides. We think it's a good idea, but also if you do, lock your doors and put your valuables in the trunk. Don't leave a whole bunch of CDs and stereo stuff and money out in the open so people perform smash and grabs, which has been a problem over the last several years at those parking rides. Governor Scott Walker will sign the two-year budget on Sunday. He's going to do so at a metalworks factory up in Green Bay, so look for that. And what, if any, line-item vetoes uh, he'll be issuing over the next several days. Usually those kind of things leak out, like, okay, he's going to get rid of this, he's going to change that. So uh, we'll be waiting in the coming days to hear what those are. Vote on Libya in the House of Representatives today in national news. Uh, one of the things they'll be considering is whether or not to cut off funding for combat operations in Libya. We'll see uh, whether or not the House goes ahead and does that and where it goes from there. The United States will be releasing 30 million barrels of oil from the emergency reserve. Last time we did that, Susan pointed out, 2005, uh, right after Hurricane Katrina. Apparently a number of other nations are planning to follow suit, so we'll see what effect that might have on gas prices worldwide, of course, here in the U.S., which have been falling of late anyway. Right. Yeah, somewhere around there. I saw 350-something on my way in this morning. How about the sports? NBA draft will continue with the Bucks with the 19th pick. Is this us? No. Bucks with the 19th pick. Pick Tobias Harris of Tennessee with the 40th pick. Wisconsin Badger, John Lure. But the big news was the three-way trade, which involves the Bucks, Sacramento, and Charlotte. We deal Corey Maggette in. And now, here's Steve Shamraz with this week's Dirty Diamond. As I was saying, we deal Corey Maggette and John Salmons. We get Steven Jackson, Sean Livingston, and <laughs> Beno Udrich. Yes. Okay. Excellent job. Yeah, thanks. The thing that worries me, Lance mentioned this in his sports, you know, Milwaukee fans remember Dirk Nowitzki, draft him and deal him. The guy we got for him, God rest his soul, tractor trailer is dead, and Dirk just won the national or the, won the NBA championship. So you hope, because Jimmer Fredette was taken with the 10th pick, that we didn't blow one there, because he could be a superstar in the making. But John Hammond getting a lot of credit for making all, all these deals. And we all must concede that he's probably way smarter about the basketball than us. Good morning, Scotty. Last point we want to make, uh, Milwaukee Brewers are hosting Minnesota this weekend uh, at Miller Ball Park. Go crew. All right. Are there any have questions? Have a great weekend. No? Excellent <laughs> job.